Ipswich's son, Governor General Bill Hayden, who played an active role securing the licence for Ipswich while a government minister. His Excellency did the honours. It's my pleasure to now officially declare open Radio QFM. So state-of-the-art, there's barely a turntable in sight. The station runs on computers hitched up to banks of compact discs. And yes, there is a new groove in the neighbourhood, and this is it. After spending $5 million, QFM expects to poach listeners from Brisbane, the long-time centre of radio broadcasting. We take the attitude that uh, as those stations can be heard uh, in Ipswich, it's not good enough for us to be a provincial-type radio station. We have to run the station as though it were a capital city station. As a consequence, uh, we will compete with them quite fiercely. Those who want to twist the dial to 106.9 on the FM band can expect to hear, I quote, contemporary hits and memories with an element of light country. Andrew Truen, National 9 News. Braved the elements to see the Governor-General open the $5 million complex described as the world's most modern radio station. I hope that through its professional approach and its local involvement, as well as a sensible balance of regional, state and national affairs, Radio QFM will become very much part of our community. Ipswich had been without a radio station since former local broadcaster 4IP moved its transmitter in 1975, making it the largest provincial city in Australia without its own station. Ironically, QFM's general manager, Ken Mulcahy, was manager of 4IP when it abandoned the city. But that was a decision that, uh, that wasn't mine. Uh, I'm just simply happy to be part of um, leading what I believe will be a great radio station for this area again. Mr Mulcahy is delighted with the city's response to the new station. Uh, much better than I'd ever found the response uh, with the former station that was in the city. 4QFM will play contemporary hits and memories music with a little country thrown in. Nev Roberts, 7 Nightly News. Radio QFM studios were officially opened by Governor General Bill Hayden. Gone are the days of vinyl records. Announcers play compact disc controlled by the touch of a screen. The owners say they'll provide the Ipswich area, which relies on Brisbane-based stations for information with its own service. South East Queensland will soon have three FM stations with another opening in Brisbane.